Only clean water flows in the rivers for Namuki. This is why this art flourished here. Had it been somewhere else, it would have been difficult. I know this art since my childhood. My father worked in this art for 30 years. After he passed away, I am taking care of this Karamkali unit. Kadukka Pinju will be available in nearby forest. It is grinded with water to make a paste. The washed cloth is soaked in the solution for 1 to 1 and a half hours. The cloth is dried and ready for painting. Tamarind stick got from tamarind tree acts as a pencil to draw the outlines required. To draw that we use a pen called Kalamkari pen, prepared from bamboo stick. We sharpen the edge of bamboo stick and make it thin until required. Then we take a cotton and sponge which is tied with a thread that sucks the color and makes use of it to draw. This is used for coloring. Cotton like a bandage cloth or so is used for slowing the flow of ink. When the cloth is washed in the river water, the excess of alum is washed off. Then the washed cloth is dried well. The temperature should be between 18 degrees centigrade to 100 degrees centigrade. Whenever churul chakka is needed, the alum retains more of it. To remove the seam, the river sand is leveled and left to dry. And when water is sprinkled in those areas, the sun bleaches the color away and makes it white. The kadka flower is ground and made into parts. The paste is boiled in water. The color is left behind for 5 to 6 days to make it thick. It is seen as golden color, then it is applied in areas required and left for a day or 10 days. Then it is washed and dried. We get blue color from indigo leaves, then river sand is mixed in water and allowed to settlement. The filter water is mixed with indigo blue and left for 21 days. When it is applied in cloth, we get the correct color or else it gets late and becomes chunky. To avoid that, we have to follow this process. This is the final boiling. 